Hi, I'm Scott from Six Points Woodworks, and we're building this 41-foot trawler yacht in the backyard of our upstate New York home. Now, she was designed with the home builder in mind, and once complete, she'll be able to cross oceans and take two people comfortably anywhere in the world that they want to go. This is the Sea Dreamer Project. I began this phase of the project with a lot of off-camera work shaping the carlin, which involved a lot of planing, sanding, and shaping to get the carlin in a nice fair curve moving around the boat in three dimensions. With the aid of a batten to ensure everything was flowing smoothly around the boat, I was then ready to install the deck beams that attached to the carlin in the pilot house. With the final deck beam secured into position, I was then ready to move on to make patterns that I would use to make accurate cuts for the decking which will later attach to the carlins and the deck beams. The use of patterns in boat building is very common and it ensures the most accurate cuts you can make. The process is fairly simple involving cutting thin strips of plywood, then laying them so that they're accurately representing the structure that you want to build over top of them, hot gluing them into position, and then transferring those patterns with the aid of a batten to my decking to make the accurate cuts.
With all the decking pieces cut to shape, it was time to move on to the construction of what can be considered a breast hook. And while this is not necessarily a true breast hook in the construction terms, it's more of a nailer for a place for the decking to land at the bow. Additional structure will come later in the form of some bulkheads, but we'll get into that later. However, this piece does need to fit correctly so that it ensures the proper bevel and angle for the decking as it lands at the bow. Now, I don't like to make it a habit to use beautiful hardwoods as construction grade materials, but I had a beautiful piece of eight quarter cherry that would fit the bill for this installation. Cherry has good rot resistance. It's very strong and takes fasteners great.
Well, I certainly hope to get more of the decking glued into position in this video, but I'm using Total Boat's high performance epoxy, which really needs about 55 degrees and above to cure properly to full strength. And here in Western New York during December and January, those days are hard to come by. So I'll just have to pick and choose my days one section at a time where I can tent off and add my heater so that I get a good result and a good bond between the decking and the structure below. And then once all the decking is in place, I'll be able to use that as a template to mark my shear line on the outside planking. And if you remember when we were planking the outside, I actually planked above the shear line so that when we got to this point, I'd be able to use this decking as that template so I got a good result. Now, there's certainly a mathematical and boat building way to uh, plank the shear line properly, and this ain't it, but this is a way for me to get a good result and have something that I'm confident that I'll get a good result. So that's why I'm doing it this way. And then, of course, way down the line, once the outside plywood is on the planking, there'll be two more layers of plywood for the decking that go here that will go over the top of that uh, plywood and then a rub rail, and that'll provide a joint that'll be easier to make watertight. So still a lot more work to do, but this is a nice first step and a really nice way to get a visual of how this forward cabin is going to be shaping up. Because I have lots of work to do down below along the floor with the access hatches for the tanks below, and I need to know where those are so that I can start to think about where I'm going to put my built-ins in and the fittings and how we're going to make this a living space. So lots to do, lots to think about, and that is one of the joys of boat building, I guess. So I'm happy with the progress. I'll keep pushing forward, and that's how we get things done. So your job is what it always is. Like, subscribe, and share. We'll see you next time.